Greetings, my name is Kevin Matthews and I am the tax professor. Welcome back to class. Remember class was never out of session because the learning never stops. And so today what we're gonna do is we're gonna talk about the no penalty for early withdrawal of the IRA funds to pay higher exp uh, education expenses. And so essentially what's happened here is um, there's a, if you're gonna take uh, money out of your IRA and you wanna use it paying for college uh, expenses, uh, you can do so without incurring the 10% penalty. Now. If it's from a traditional IRA, one of the things you're going to have to realize is that you will be paying taxes on the on the withdrawal of it. You don't get out of that, but you at least get out of the penalty, which is an additional 10% on top of what you're going to pay anyways. Now, what's the tax on that? I don't know. Whatever your marginal rate is. Um, so you're going to have to know what that is, and that's probably going to be how much you're going to have to pay in taxes. Um, so it is a penalty withdraw, free withdrawal for qualified higher educational expenses, uh, tuition at a post-secondary education institution, as well as room, board, fees, books, supplies, equipment required for enrollment or attendance. Expenses for graduate courses are also covered. So if you got to you got went through undergraduate and 100% of it was paid, maybe you're one of those guys who went to the academies, um, and you basically said, now I got to go and get uh, you know go get my graduate degree. Um, you know uh, my my employer is not going to pick up as much as they were before, so I'm going to go ahead and I'll I'll pay out of pocket. And this is one of the ways you can do that. Um, you know, expenses can be incurred by the IRA owner, their spouse, children, grandchildren of either spouse. There's no requirement that the child or grandchild be a dependent of the IRA owner. So that's something that we oftentimes get asked, do I have to claim all my tax return in order to be able to do it? And the answer is no. So, and something I want you to understand also is that, you know, these, this exception from the 10% penalty is one of several that can actually be done. There's also some other ones that if you're gonna be pay, you know, pulling it out and, uh, and paying for some other uh, expenses. We just did a video on um, paying for a first time home. Uh, it can also be used for medical bills and some other expenses that might be happening. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me, leave a comment in the comment box below, or you can email me at www.betasolutioncpa.com. Again, that's www.betasolutioncpa.com. Um, again, my name is Kevin Matthews. I am the tax professor. Class is still in session because the learning never stops. And what I'd like to ask for each one of you, if you, you watched this video and you enjoyed it, please go ahead and hit like. And if you don't mind, go ahead and hit subscribe. That way you'll find out when we launch any more videos. And believe me, folks, a lot more is coming. Um, and we're going to be pushing those out over here, here for, the next, um, uh, for the next few months. So um, again, thank you very much for watching.